You said no, what the hell does that mean? Traveling faster than light doesn't mean that you're going backwards in time, a bunch of other stuff. I think I know how to explain this with a TikTok skit. Hey, uh, RPG, this doesn't make sense. How does going faster than light create time travel? How does it break the laws of physics? Well, okay, let's say that a star is about to go supernova and you want front row seats. It's 10 light years away. We're estimating that it's going to go supernova like tomorrow night or something, right? You can just faster than light travel and get there and see it go supernova right up close, right? Uh, well, no, wait, we can't. We can't? Why? Well, it's 10 light years away, so it already went supernova 10 years ago. So, go faster. Light is just traveling photons, right? Just go faster than them. Right, but those photons already left their destination 10 years ago. They, they already left. So go even faster. You have infinite faster than light travel, right? And you're seeing the photons from the star 10 light years ago means they took a 10 year journey to get to you. But you can go faster than that. So go fast enough that you get to the star in a nanosecond. You should be able to get there before even the next photon is emitted. No, I, I don't think you understand me. You can't do that. Why is that? Because it already happened 10 years ago. It's 10 light years away. Right, so I'm telling you to go faster. All this stuff is just particles interacting with each other, right? Seeing that supernova from here on Earth is just seeing the photons that were emitted from 10 years ago. So you could travel faster than those particles interact. No, 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 I'm saying you can't do that. You can't travel fast to go back in time. And why is that? Because that stuff already happened. No matter how fast you go, you can't change the fact that it already happened. You literally can't travel fast enough to get to stuff before it happens. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? You can't travel faster to go back in time. No matter how fast you travel, you can't change the past. I'm sorry, maybe I'm not understanding you. Could you explain it again? Like, if I wanted to see that supernova, I couldn't because if I traveled instantly, when I got there, the supernova would have happened ten years ago. So then just travel twice as fast. Then it would have happened five years ago. And then travel twice as fast as that. Then it would have happened 2.5 years ago. And then keep going until you've gotten there before the next photon has been emitted. And then you have front row seats for the supernova. No, no, no. It, it still doesn't work like that. Why doesn't it work like that? You have infinite faster than light travel. Because it still happened 10 years in the past. I can't go back in time. The quickest I could get there is how it is now. Which is 10 years from the point the light is showing us because it took 10 light years to get here. Oh, okay, so the quickest you can span the distance between you and this star is 10 years. There's no way to get to where the star is without that 10 years already having passed. Yeah, now you get it. I can only get to the star now. It went supernova 10 years ago. I can't go any faster than that. So you could call that your maximum speed, right? Sure, I guess. And how long did it take that light to get to us again? 10 years. You just said if I traveled between here and the star as fast as I can go, I could only get there before how long has passed compared to what the photons are showing us? 10 years. So if I have infinite faster than light travel, no matter how fast I go, to avoid going back in time, there's a maximum speed I can't go over. And that speed is the speed at which 10 years will have had to pass from when I saw the photons to now. Correct. And the photons traveled how far? 10 light years. Aha, so we figured out the maximum speed then. Wait, what do you mean? Well, you just said it. The maximum speed that we could go without traveling back in time is the speed at which it takes light 10 years to travel 10 light years. Uh... Or to put otherwise, the speed it takes light one year to travel one light year. So the maximum speed is... But what if you had a black hole and 